Yeah. <clears throat> oh, what's up, everybody? It's your boy. I wanted to come on in here and love on y'all for a good minute and shit, you know, before I get to talking about this video. Okay, here's how I'm going to go ahead and hit y'all with church announcements. At the latest today, if all goes well, you guys will go ahead and get um, probably new Empire video and what's the other video? Black Ink Crew Chicago. I know I am late with those two videos, but y'all will get those. But I, I did want to come in here and love on y'all right quick. I'm actually about to go and go on a, a nice little walk. Yeah, no, like I said, I already started the movement, you know, hashtag TSBU365. You know, good morning. How have you doing? You know, so like I said, I'm about to go out there, you know, get my sweat on. Like I, like I told y'all, the blackout coming in <laughs> fucking damn July, my birthday, even though it's next month. I'm trying to, you know, get ready for that dirty 30 right quick, you know. And I just took my pre-workout, okay, before I mix, you know, Ion. Might do a review. Well, I, I will do a review that later on this month. But uh, I want to talk about uh, Fizz's video, uh, Good Lotion. Little bit of throwback on y'all ass. But, um... I got been meaning to watch it, so I went ahead and I watched it just now. No shit, just got done watching it. Uh got a little over sixteen thousand uh views, you know, and um it's black and white. Really know how the fuck to feel about that. Now, er, uh <clears throat> one thing I will say is I was happy to see how many people came and watched this bullshit of a motherfucking video. Just for Moniz Slaughter. Y'all, here's the name. Y'all don't know by now. My ass is Team Moniz. 100 motherfucking percent, okay? I, you know, I think I'm probably gonna be the motherfucking president of the motherfucking Team Moniz motherfucking club. Because it ain't that many motherfuckers rocking for But I was so happy to go through the comment section. Because I think the video, yeah, the video dropped yesterday. So I'm not that far behind, okay? Thank you so much, y'all. Sophisticated one for sharing the video. Uh... But it just dropped yesterday, so I'm not that far behind because I meant to look it up yesterday and I just didn't do it. But I mean, you know, it's so many people, you know, uh, was here for Moniz. One person said, Mo, you know, Moniz made this video 10 times better. Wish the fuck she did now. <clears throat> if I could talk to y'all for a second, if I could talk to y'all about some real shit. Because Fizz the fucking pissed me the fuck off with this motherfucking video. I'm about to tell y'all why. Okay, now this purple lip, because I got high, look at that motherfucker. Well, how you doing, sweetness? <clears throat> this motherfucker straight shaded the fuck out of my girl Moniz. Now, this is what the fuck why. Now, I'm not telling y'all go watch this bullshit ass video. Now, if y'all watch it, of course, you get a motherfucking view. They will fuck it up. But as I'm watching this video, they was hitting Moniz from the wrong angle, number one. Two, they she had motherfucking bags on butter her motherfucking eyes. Now here's the I don't know shit about me. I don't know shit, nothing about none of that shit. But <clears throat> how the fuck these video hoes look better than your motherfucking baby mama that you claim he he did her ass motherfucking wrong. I was mad as all motherfucker get. I didn't like that. I did not <clears throat> I did not fucking like that. He's a bitch. First and foremost, he bitch made any motherfucking way. He a bitch ass motherfucker, you know, to fucking begin with. But the fact that he didn't up and did my girl like that. Okay, like I said, Mon Moniz need not even fuck with his ass because of that. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? That and what really got me is this motherfucking auto-tuned ass queen <clears throat> is sitting here giving me... I don't know what the fuck the motherfucker was giving me. Hold on. <clears throat> That's why I, I, I hate the fact that I have mucus good like this. I really do. It really fucking sucks. And it always seems to come out when I get in front of this motherfucking, you know, camera. That's Okay. Like, I don't know what the fuck he was giving me. Like, I mean, he's sitting here, I don't do that. Da, 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 da. Like, motherfucker, that ain't how to fuck your ass rap. If we can even call what the fuck you at, what the fuck you do, rapping. You feel what I'm saying? And apparently, I guess this is supposed to be the video to revitalize, you know, rejuvenate his motherfucking lackluster motherfucking career. Now, I will say, I'm going to give the motherfucking props. The fact that he has decided to use this video to market his product called Good Lotion. I ain't fucking buying it. Now, y'all gonna fucking buy it? Because I ain't fucking buying it. Now, I don't, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Like, the shit was so, like, this video was so motherfucking basic. I didn't like it. I did not fucking enjoy it. <clears throat> you know, 
And it and it was one of those where it was just like, I wonder how much he paid the motherfucker to shoot this damn video. Because I could have shot the motherfucking video and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he could at least, you know, gave us, you know, some girls, you know, dressed in their 90s motherfucking hip-hop clothes. You know how Mary Jane Escape used to do it. You know, like, ne you know what, never mind. He don't know shit about real motherfucking hip-hop. This motherfucker came out in motherfucking 2000s. B2K. Two, he, he don't know shit about that motherfucking good bit. Let, let, let me stop. Let me stop. Like, I, I really just hate the fucking song. Like, he, he got a view out my ass. So, you know, that's all the fuck I could really say. But I was mad at the video. I was mad at how the fuck they did my girl Moniz. Again, y'all, again, I'm going to keep saying I'm Team Moniz. I'm in the process of trying to design my Team Moniz shirt. Because I get wrong fucking T, y'all. If shit go right and my ass is, you know, able to record for Love Hip Hop Hollywood when it come back out. Best believe I'm going to have a motherfucking team on these shirts now. My question is this. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to do it to where, like, we all can wear them. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like it because I know a lot of people don't. Uh, thank y'all for the heart. I know a lot of people don't rock out with Moniz. I do. Again, I I might have to do just. I'm, I'm the mother, you know what, fuck it. You know how they got Team Toro and they got the president and shit. Motherfucker, I'm Team Motherfucker Moniz. That's how the fuck we doing this shit today. Hell, everybody want to sit here and go in on motherfucking Moniz and shit. <clears throat> and I know already ranted enough about Fizz, little bitch ass, you know. But if I could just reiterate, fu fuck this video. If I could reiterate some shit right quick. Here's what fucking gets me, y'all. The fact that this, you know, soft ass motherfucker. This motherfucker, I just want that. Because a lot of people say Moniz just want the title of, you know, baby's mother or the mother of camera. I can say the same exact thing for motherfucking Fizz, but what I did not like is you want to fucking meet who? You 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 want to meet Rich because he around your son. I got a question. Did motherfucking uh, Moniz, because first and foremost, she didn't meet Amanda until from what we saw after they had been dating for a hot minute. And did she ever meet Kamaya? Because Kamaya was around Cam. Did, did, did she meet your appetizer of the motherfucking day? Did she meet your appetizer of last week and yesteryear? Is what the fuck I want to know. Oh, I, again, he is fucking bitch, man. I, it's, it's shit like that I don't fucking like. You feel what I'm saying? And I got, got double standards and shit. Okay. I understand that. I do. And a lot of shit that, you know, we accept on one half, we never really accept on the other. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, why we letting this motherfucker get away with murder. Exa exactly. Exa and my whole thing is this. I got it. Moniz <clears throat> does not see her child, but at the same exact time, I'm pretty sure there has now there has been a reason. Now, again, I'm going to call a motherfucker spade a spade. Yeah, she can go around, you know, chasing dick, you know, playing musical dick, hopping from one day to the... Hey, it is what the fuck it is. She can go play musical dick. She can go see a motherfucking kid. I got that, Okay. But I, but I have to believe that there is something more to this. I have to believe that I, I'm not gonna just sit here and accept the fact that she's a motherfucking deadbeat, okay? Because a real motherfucking deadbeat is Sherry motherfucking Shepherd. That's a motherfucking deadbeat if I if I ain't fuck seen one. But I'm gonna say that for trending topics, you know. I'm, I'm gonna say that for that video too. Don't forget, I'm doing that tomorrow, you know, 1 p.m. East Standard Time on dot. Okay, got shit to talk about tomorrow. Though. But um. Yeah, I, I just don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Fizz. Fuck Fizz. Fuck Fizz. Fuck Fizz. You know, because I was initially rooting for the motherfucker. Okay? I was on my Tyra Banks. Like, I was rooting for you. And I know some people probably looking at me like, dude, you rooting for the wrong motherfucker? No. No. I'm, I'm still root for motherfucking Moniz. Okay? I understand that she has some motherfucking issues and certain shit has to be worked out. But what I will say is, is I'm pretty sure Fizz knew she had issues before he went in raw. Okay? And ain't my motherfucking fault your ass went in without a motherfucking raincoat. That's not my damn problem. You, the motherfucker that chose to do that, and you got her motherfucking ass credit. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't, and I'm pretty sure he knew of the issues before John was moved the fuck in. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I've dated somebody with fucking parental issues. You know what I'm saying? And it's one of those things where it was present in our fucking relationship. Like, she had daddy fucking issues. You know what I'm saying? It is what the fuck it is. But I was willing to accept that fucking risk. You feel what I'm saying? But never once when shit didn't go the right way that I want to sit here and blame everything the fuck on her. Because the reality is this. 
I was the one that chose to date her in spite of. So guess what, uh, Fizz? You the motherfucker that chose to go in deep, raw, inside them motherfucking sugar walls without no motherfucking protection. You the motherfucker that did that. That's all I gotta fucking say. And I need to calm the fuck down. I need to save this energy for this morning walk that I'm about to go on. Because I done got a little too invested in a motherfucking relationship that ain't got shit to do with me. But y'all but y'all know I'm here for money. Whoa, 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 wait a minute now, I'm reading the comment, I'm reading the comment session, motherfucker said Monique's ugly ass ruined the whole video, whoa, wait the fuck up, you know what, see, I, I, I'm not even gonna reply to this shit, cause this ain't even my motherfucking video, let me get off this motherfucking bullshit ass video, that shit that just, we were gonna talk to shit and ruined the whole fucking video, bitch, hell no. <clears throat> so, you know, before I get off here, how y'all doing on this Saturday morning, you know, is, is everybody doing good? I hope so. If y'all have not yet seen it, oh, hey, Miss Nappy Love, if y'all have not seen it, I want y'all to go ahead and check out <clears throat> my latest video on YouTube. It's about uh, my introduction, uh, <laughs> my, uh, is T Spillings BU365, you know, like I said, as if you guys have not noticed in the face and shit, uh, my face has definitely slimmed the fuck down. Like I said, I am down over 20 pounds <clears throat> working to give back to the old me. If you guys watch that video, it's the introduction to it. It's something that I want everybody to kind of like join in, you know, develop your own plans. You know, we all can get right, get nice together. You know, like I said, I get my birthday is coming up. I'm not talking about this upcoming birthday because, you know, it's too close. But for next year, my dirty 30, getting ready for that, the blackout and shit, you know, so I, I got to get this thing together. If y'all watch the video, I threw some throwback pictures in there. Y'all probably going to be like, y'all real? Did you swallow this motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me go fix my Thanksgiving leftover. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I want you guys to, you know, go ahead and check that out. And if you guys want to join in, by all means, uh, like I said, I will probably be releasing the first challenge for December <laughs> you know what well, here's the thing it's not that it's really dieting honestly it's more or less just a lifestyle change that's the whole thing that I'm going for because again it's BU 365 like I said the plan that I have designed for me is probably not going to fit you know you but it's for you to sit down and map out what works best for you because here's the thing Hanukkah is December 6th okay that's deep fried okay that's deep fried food for 8 damn days Y'all, I love me some deep fried motherfucking food. Now, I'm, I'm going to do some mustard. Uh, I, I, I'm sitting here salvaging. I can't even get my damn words out. I'm going to make some mustard batter, chicken finger, salmon wontons, dip in some motherfucking, you know, duck sauce and shit. Some um, soufgani yolk, that's a jelly filled donut. Some lakis, that's potato pancakes. What else if I'm going to make? Make some deep fried apple pies and shit. They trying to have a blackout in Las Vegas, you know, so if all goes well, I'll be there. But back to what the fuck, I'm, I'm probably going to do some deep fried Oreos. I ain't quite shit yet. Um, you know, some, you know, cheese fries and shit. Might do some motherfucking sloppy joe cheese fries. You know, I, I'm just saying, like, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to go the fuck in. But even though I'm going to sit here and indulge, you know, it's one of those things where it's just like, you know, of course, I'm not going to go crazy except for that one Saturday. I'm going to smooth out the fuck out that one Saturday. Just eat to my heart's content. But factoring in that I'm going to be, you know, celebrating the holiday. So before the holiday actually rolls around, you know, eat super, super, super clean. And then when that day comes, go ahead and eat to my heart's content. You know, just like, you know, it's one of those things where it's like you make it work for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's not one of those where it's just like, oh my gosh, you're going to sit here and eat nothing but cardboard grass and drink water all damn day. That ain't what it is. But it's one of those where you make it work for you. You feel what I'm saying? And like I said, I mean, <laughs> your boy's eating good. Eventually, I'm going to, you know, just kind of like show y'all what I'm eating, you know, meal preps, prepping for the week. Let y'all see how my plate actually looks and see what the fuck is going on in my body because your boy eating good, okay? All right. Like, like, like I said, I'm uh, like, like I said, this is a thick motherfucker right here. I'm going to eat motherfucking good on y'all ass. You ain't got to worry about that shit. You ain't got to worry. But, <laughs> you know, it, like I said, it is a journey. And I'm thinking that uh not e Ugh, fuck i'll say it here i think uh the december challenge is probably going to be just for the whole month of december just keep a log of everything that you eat and try to be as de detailed as possible because i think you know when people can like visually look and see what they have been consuming you know it has somewhat helped them 
probably adjust. And even if it's, you know, just simple things as, you know, well, I know I, I drink five cans of soda a day, so I'm going to go from five cans of soda to four cans of soda. You know, just little changes, you know, but it's the little things that's going to make a big difference. I'm not sitting here telling y'all go and do P90X and sit here and cut out every motherfucking thing because for what it's worth, unless you can... Unless you're one of the people that can do that, it's unrealistic and you're going to cause more damage to yourself when you realize you can't do it and fall back on it. But I want us all to join in on it and go to the YouTube, uh, not YouTube, Facebook page <clears throat> where we all can just, you know, communicate. We all can give each other inspiration. Like I said, I'm about to go on a motherfucking walk momentarily. I just finished drinking my pre-workout drink. If y'all didn't see it before, before mix ion. I'm about to go ahead get out there. I'm about to get it in. I'm probably going to do anywhere <clears throat> from a 30 minute to a one hour walk. We'll see uh, what happens. But you know, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to get this shit, trying to get this shit right. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I, I got to come back in <clears throat> looking good on y'all ass and shit. And also, I got to make sure that, you know, when the six comes around, Facebook name, um, thank you, uh, Fayette Sister. One, I'm about to say, I'm about to say 65, Lord, y'all know, okay. Um, the Facebook name for that particular page, give me a second, because I can't just say go to this particular, you know, website because there's so much that was added onto it. Thank you for the heart. Um, <clears throat> but if you type in, um, T space spillings without the apostrophe, because it took it out, uh, capital B, capital U, 365, you know, you'll find it. Or if you just go to my damn, <laughs> um, you know, um, YouTube, it'll be there. Uh, like I said, just click on the video and it'll be there. Like I said, it's a whole lot and everything. But, um, yeah, you know, <clears throat> we about to fucking do it, man. Like I said, I'm going to do <clears throat> app reviews to kind of, you know, help, you know, with, uh, you know, getting to whatever places you want to get to. <clears throat> of course, product reviews, fitness related. Like I said, I'm going to have uh, in the kitchen segment specifically catered to BU365. And I want, if you guys have come up with a plan, you know, post that because <clears throat> the plan that I've developed for myself may not work <clears throat> for someone, but the plan that you come up with might work for somebody. So, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get on this shit. You feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> and for y'all that came in, expect me to talk about that good lotion. I've already talked about it. I'll be getting off soon, so y'all go ahead and watch the replay. Uh, that video just wasn't worth my motherfucking time. I'm not gonna get those four minutes back. <clears throat> but I was here for Monique's, even though they motherfucking did her ass grind me as shit. So, be <laughs> so before I get off, how many y'all want to take the journey with me? You know, how many y'all <clears throat> just want to jump in and just see what it do? If you, if I said if not, that's cool shit. <clears throat> Cause here's the thing: if y'all on here like I like to eat, trust me, my ass like to eat too. Okay, I didn't want fucking like my ass like to eat shit. Woo. But, you know, all within reason. So, I think that is all that I have. Again, like I said, I owe y'all <clears throat> two videos because I am behind behind. I owe y'all a uh, Empire Review and Black Ink Crew Chicago. The reason y'all didn't get it is because some shit happened at work. You know, like I said, motherfuckers trying to come for me. It is what the fuck it is. <clears throat> Try to stop my leave. All this other shit. It's, it was like a lot going on. It put a lot of stress on me. Um, <clears throat> Tuesday night, I drank way too fucking much, you know, because again, if y'all watched <laughs> my B365 introduction video, I did say that, you know, sometimes when I'm going through, I will either stress drink or stress eat. That night, I chose to stress drink, woke up the next morning, I really feel it so hot, <clears throat> and it was pretty much just like the last couple of days, me just trying to reset myself, kind of get my, well, good morning, good morning. And just get myself back together. So I do owe y'all those videos, but in case y'all wonder, like, damn, he kind of fell off the face of the earth. That's, that's why. But I really didn't fall off the face of the earth. And I know y'all probably look like, how the fuck you come back and give us all these motherfucking videos and then fall the fuck off? Sorry. So, um, yeah, y'all, I'm about to go and uh, do this walk. I feel the shit rushing through my body. So I'm going to go ahead and put my shoes on, take this phone off here, <laughs> put my headphones in, and I'm about to go. So thank you guys for joining me. I know I went from talking about one thing to another, but that's okay. And, yeah, I will see you guys later. Hopefully, you guys will join me on um, the BU365. And until next time, I will see you guys later.